In this demo, we will show you how to navigate and view the real-time metrics dashboard. Once you have logged in to the Amazon Connect instance, you will be redirected to the home page. To view the real-time metrics, in the sidebar, hover over the graph icon to expand the Analytics and Optimization menu and click Real-Time Metrics. Before you can view the dashboards, you will need to select a primary grouping of the table you would like to start your report with. There are three groupings you can choose from. The first grouping, Queues, shows the real-time metrics for contacts and agents for each queue. For example, we can view the number of customers scheduled for a callback and the average handle time for each queue. The second grouping, Agents, shows the status and metrics for logged in agents. For example, we can view performance metrics relating to each logged in agent, such as the average handle time. The third grouping, Routing Profiles, shows metrics for contacts and agents for each routing profile. For example, we can view the number of agents on a contact for each routing profile. We are going to click into queues to view the metrics relating to each queue. From this dashboard, we can see the table is split into different sections, agents, contacts, and performance. For agents, you can view metrics such as the number of agents currently online, how many of them are on contact, and the number of queues that are in non-productive statuses for each queue. For contacts, you can see the total amount of slots currently available and the total number of slots currently active for all agents in each queue. For performance, you can see the number of customers waiting in queue and the duration of the longest contact in each queue. This can be useful for evaluating which queue has the longest waiting time, which can be used for adjusting the contact center strategy based on metric results. In the real-time metrics dashboard, there is a feature that allows you to drill down into a queue and routing profile data in one click. This is extremely useful for identifying agents in an error status and work with them to resolve the issue. In our demo, we can see the error metric is set to 2. You can also sort the table by error metric with this arrow here to view the queue with the highest number of errors. To view the agents that are being affected, we can use the one-click drill down feature and view the agents in the demo queue. Let's go ahead and do that. Next to the queue, open the drop-down menu and click on View Agents. Scrolling down, we can see there are two agents currently in the misstate, and to help resolve this issue, we can connect with them to troubleshoot any issues they may have and get them back online as soon as possible. The Real-Time Metrics dashboard also offers the flexibility to add new tables regardless of the primary grouping that was chosen. In our case, we chose queues as the primary grouping. For example, we can add the routing profiles table. Scrolling down, click new table, and routing profiles. We can now see the routing profiles table being added. This feature enables the user to add and view tables for different groupings of their choice in a single dashboard view, making it easier to obtain a broader perspective on the contact center's performance and status. Thank you for joining me to learn about the real-time metrics dashboard.